For centuries, we wondered, are there other worlds like ours? Today, we know the answer, yes. Thousands of planets orbit distant stars and we've only just begun to find them. These aren't just dots in the sky. They could be homes, mysteries, or even signs that we're not alone in the universe. Exoplanets are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. The first ones were confirmed in the 1990s, and today we found over 5,000. They come in all types and sizes, from giant gas planets bigger than Jupiter to small rocky worlds like Earth. Some orbit very close to their stars and scorch in heat. Others are far out, cold, or even drifting through space alone with no star at all. The most common way we find exoplanets is called the transit method. If a planet passes in front of a star, it blocks a tiny bit of starlight, causing a small dip in brightness. Telescopes like Kepler and TESS watch thousands of stars, looking for these tiny flickers. By measuring the size and timing of the dip, scientists can figure out the planet's size, orbit, and even how far it is from its star. But it only works if the planet's orbit lines up just right with our view. Another method is called radial velocity. A planet's gravity tugs on its star just a little, causing it to wobble. That wobble shifts the star's light, which we can measure with the Doppler effect. Other tools include gravitational microlensing, where a planet bends the light of a background star, and direct imaging, where special instruments block out starlight so we can photograph giant planets. Each method reveals something different, and together they give us a clearer picture. Why does this matter? Because each planet we discover helps us understand how planets form, evolve, and survive. We can estimate their sizes, orbits, temperatures, and sometimes even detect what's in their atmospheres. Some may have clouds, water vapor, or gases like oxygen. And that brings us closer to one of the biggest questions we can ask. Is Earth unique? Or are there other planets out there that could support life? Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.